December 9, 2022, a contingent of Chinese soldiers marched onwards towards the eastern border with India in Arunachal Pradesh's Tawang. Emboldened by their belligerents in Galwan, in India's Ladakh region, the PLA marched on to capture more Indian territory, expecting little to no resistance by Indian forces. To the absolute horror of the Chinese armed forces, a ferocious contingent of India's Jammu Kashmir Rifles, Jat Regiment, and Sikh Light Infantry stood resolute, guarding India's eastern frontier. This is not 62. This is 2022. Please remember, Indian Army is the, one of the most battle inoculated army in the world. They are a very tough army, very well trained army, and they can defend India. Brutal medieval hand to hand combat, resulting in severe Chinese casualties and a hasty retreat by the humbled Chinese army. India showed the world, China can be taken on and a bully can be defeated. India shares an ill-defined 2,100 mile long border with its hostile and expansionist neighbor, China. The frontier was snow-capped, rugged mountains, lakes and rivers with no exact border demarcation, brings Chinese and Indian soldiers face to face. Since the 1962 Sino-India War, China has made frequent infiltration attempts and has violated the border path, especially in Ladakh and Arunachal Pradesh. On December 9th, more than 300 Chinese soldiers attempted to uproot an Indian post located at the top of a 17,000-foot peak in the Tawang sector of Arunachal Pradesh. The attempt was foiled by the Indian troops after a standoff. This was the first major confrontation between India and China since the June 2020 Galwan Valley Battle which was fought with sticks and clubs and which resulted in heavy casualties on both sides. This time, the Indian side was fully prepared for China's attempts. As part of its expansionist foreign policy, Beijing has kept a close watch on Indian territory. In recent years, China has rapidly built up military infrastructure along the line of actual control with India. It is believed that the People's Liberation Army has constructed military structures and even entire villages in disputed areas of the line of actual control. China's actions have resulted in global condemnation. DOD continues to closely watch developments along the line of actual control at the India-China border, and we will continue to remain steadfast in our commitment to ensuring the security of our partners, uh, and we fully support India's ongoing efforts to de-escalate this situation. In addition to unwarranted and unprovoked attacks on India, China also engages in many disputes with several of its neighbors be it Nepal, Bhutan, or Myanmar, with whom it shares land borders, or Taiwan, Japan, North Korea, Vietnam, and the Philippines, with whom China shares maritime borders. China's ego rears its ugly head. The Communist Party of China's expansionist foreign policy creates instability and uncertainty for all of its neighbors. Fortunately, Indian intelligence and the military were able to anticipate China's attack and will continue to hold China accountable. After the unprovoked attempt by China to unilaterally change the land border with India in the Tuang sector, the international community took note of this Chinese belligerence and showed their solidarity with India. 
we are glad to hear that both sides appear to have quickly uh, disen disengaged from the clashes. India of 2022 is not India of 2020. A repeat incident of Galwan would not be tolerated. And India showed to the world that staring a bully in the eye will lead it to back down. Shaman Spin Buldak is the second busiest border crossing between Pakistan and Afghanistan. The boundary, which connects Pakistan's Balochistan with the southern Afghan province of Kandahar, is a key trade route through which large quantities of critical goods move in and out of landlocked Afghanistan. For decades, the boundary remained tense due to illegal crossings, frequent ethnic clashes, and scuffles between the security forces. On December 15, clashes erupted between the border forces of Afghanistan and Pakistan, resulting in one death and more than a dozen injuries. Only a few days prior, on December 11, cross-border shelling and gunfire had killed eight Pakistani civilians and one Afghan soldier near the same crossing. Both sides blame each other for instigating clashes. Afghanistan and Pakistan have for decades had territorial disputes at their border, and the Chaman crossing was closed for several days after similar clashes only a month ago. It is the locals who continue to suffer due to mounting uncertainty. Pakistan, Afghanistan, border ban kar kum nagar tu ko meshe ar was jang yena dimi dok matu da khwat kum da jang chazi wadar yuro ramuji rozgar u daga ku wasala. Pakistan expected peace at the Durand Line, the border between Pakistan and Afghanistan, since the Taliban takeover of Kabul on August 15, 2021. Unfortunately, tensions between the two nations intensify since the Al-Qaeda leader, Ayman al-Zawahiri, was killed in a U.S. drone strike in Kabul on July 31 this year. The Taliban government criticized Islamabad for allowing Americans to use their airspace to access Afghanistan. On the other hand, Pakistan accuses the Taliban government of doing little to stop cross-border attacks by Tehriki Taliban Pakistan on its security forces. The porous border remains an epicenter of TTP and Islamic State Khorasan. This is just part of the process. You see the uh, ceasefire agreements. Why will you agree to a ceasefire when you have the upper hand? You agree to a ceasefire when you do not have the upper hand, you see, or for optical purposes. Now, uh, have you heard of any major Pakistani victory against the Taliban in the last year or so? Nothing. I only hear about uh, uh, the TTP carrying out attacks in Pakistan. Very little that they're able to do to the TTP. So I don't think Pakistan realizes what it's up for. And I think the TTP know exactly what they're doing. Pakistani security forces also frequently carry out attacks against terrorist hideouts inside Afghanistan's territory, which further strains the relationship between Kabul and Islamabad. Since the Taliban's takeover of Kabul, the Tehriki Taliban Pakistan has become more violent with an aim to impose Islamic law in Pakistan. The TTP and the Afghan Taliban share ideological roots as they both work together against the United States-led Afghan government. As the Pakistani government ended its ceasefire with the TTP, the situation on the Durand Line is expected to become more unstable and hostile, with civilian Afghans and Pakistanis continuing to suffer.